Hey everybody, Joel and Jeremy here. It is the Games of the Month and it is November. Uh, boy, where has time flown, Jeremy? We're we're kind of we're in that in-between season right now. It's the playoffs for fall. Winter is going. Uh, it, it's we're fast approaching the end of the year here. It is, man. It seems like we were just talking town ball and uh, you know, two months ago and, and here we are. It's already the beginning of, of November. And as you mentioned, it, it's a fun it's really a fun time of year right because we you know we're, we're talking about section championship weekend for a lot of our local sports be it football and volleyball um you know we're moving into the regular season i know we've got basketball practices starting in the next few weeks you know hockey's already going i think dance competition is already going so we're moving into it fast and it's hard to believe and as you said i mean Joel, next month at this time, we're going to be talking holiday stuff. So it's just really, really weird. Where is 2023 gone? It, it it certainly has here, and uh, when this comes out, it comes out kind of a kind of midweek. Uh, this games of the month video, we're getting ready. You know, volleyball has their section championships, subsection and section championships. Football has their section championships. There's a lot of team. You know, and go, go to we got we got the websites uh, down here on the bottom of the screen. Go to the websites for our complete uh, schedule of what we got for them uh, for you th this weekend here. But there are a lot of teams that have real, honest to goodness chances to play deep into November here. You know, Joel, you and I were talking just a few weeks back when we kind of start surmising and we start looking at area teams. And I think both you and I were stunned. We didn't realize how many good teams we had in the area. We're kind of like, whoa, you know, yeah, they've got a shot. They've got a shot. They've got a shot. And even in volleyball, a few local teams that have the capability of going deep, it, it makes it really, really fun. Uh, it's fun as a local listener because, you know, some of these teams that were supporting you know all the way you know 25 miles north of hutchinson you know to 25 miles south of kglb in glencoe so you know it, it's a wide array of teams some familiar teams some teams who've really come onto the scene over the last couple of years makes for an exciting uh, next few weeks in november and we know we're going to have some local football teams this weekend they're going to win some section championships and they're going to keep rolling uh, with that chance at that uh, state title later on in the month. Well, this may be a good time to uh, to, to plug the uh, the app as well because you can you know you can be at a game. I, I've had I've heard from many people. I'm sure you have too. That take the app along. They listen to they're they're watching. They're physically watching one game and they're listening to another one. So make sure you download that app so you don't miss any of the coverage. You know, technology is a crazy thing, isn't it, Joel? Um, you know, who would have thought 20 years ago, you know, anywhere in the world, uh, you know, you can listen. I, I think it was last year, you know, for one of our state volleyball matches, we had uh, someone whose younger sister was playing uh, for Mayor Lutheran in the state tournament, was stationed overseas and had a chance, had to get up in the middle of the night and had an opportunity, to, you know, to listen to his sister play. Those are cool things. These apps are great. Like you said, you can listen anywhere in the world. And uh, just makes the uh, the experience a whole lot more fun. You know, no matter where you are, Joel, it's like you're sitting right there uh, in the gym. You get an opportunity or you're sitting in the stands at a football game and you get an opportunity to listen. So, yeah, make sure that you download those those free apps for KGLB, for KDUZ, for KARP. Take them with you. You can listen in your car. You can listen on your phone. You can listen on your PC. It's really, really a fun and unique way to, to stay local and, and find out what's going on back home. Now, we do, you, you mentioned winter. We do want to call them out because those seasons start here in November as well. Dance team started about 10 days ago. Girls hockey just this past Monday here. Uh, the rest of the sports will start here in November. Uh, it, it's it, it, it's a fun time. It's it's a cool time because you got that, uh, again, it's the, it's the transition time here, but there's a lot of teams that we're going to be talking about next month. We'll talk more about them next month that got chances here in this winter season. Yeah, you know, and we're really blessed, Joel, and we, you and I, I've talked about that a lot too. We, we've just got a lot of great student athletes and a lot of great schools that we get to cover. And that couldn't be um, more true again uh, this winter. You know, there, there's some area teams that, you know, are, are looking to build a little bit maybe on what they did uh, last year. You know, you've got GSL boys, you know, still with, with the great Eli Erke, who seems like he's been there forever. He's finally a senior now, but, uh, you know, um, you know, him being there, Mayor Lutheran girls basketball, Central boys basketball. These, these are some of the teams that, 
you know, they, they, they marked off March, you know, they're not making any plans. They're hoping to be playing uh, obviously in the early March and even later into March. So just makes it a whole lot of fun. And, you know, it's weird to think that in just a few months, we're going to be talking about that, but you know, it's always this fun transition. You've got a few coaches, Joel, that are probably in a little bit of limbo because they might have one of their kids playing football or, or one of their girls playing volleyball and, and waiting for that transition uh, before they can start with their regular team. But uh, it's just a great, a great time of year. You know, I know sometimes for us in Minnesota, it can be a little bit depressing, right? Days are really short. It can be really, really cold. It can be really, really snowy, but there's nothing better than high school sports to kind of help you get through winter. And, you know, we're going to have you covered again on our, our three stations over the course of the winter, an opportunity to hear from a lot of different area schools. Don't forget uh, those websites uh, down there, uh, scrolling under underneath us here. Check out those websites for the complete schedule, and uh, we will be back with you again next month for another Games of the Month here on KDUZ, KARP, and KGLB.